Hey everyone, it's Al Cheeseman here. I've made this video really easy to follow, so you can stop and start the steps if you need to. I've also split it into chapters, each with step-by-step -step guidance for setting up. Click the subscribe button below to stay up to date with my latest free traffic videos. Right now you can get a 7 day risk free trial by clicking the link below this video. We need to get the username and photo data so we can tell FollowAdder what we want it to perform the actions on. These two steps you need to follow or your FollowAdder software won't do anything. I'll show you exactly how to do this and make it really simple to follow. In the second chapter I'll show you how to set up FollowAdder in the best ways possible to grow your account fast and safely. I'll go over how to set up the software so that it performs these actions on the data we told it to collect. Broken down into 5 steps I'll show you the best ways to set each of these up. In the videos I'll be letting you in on my tips and secrets for getting the best results with FollowAdder. Think this video. If you liked it give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions leave me a comment. So let's get started. Okay, so once you've got into the follow out of software, what you want to do is you want to head on over to users. And remember, like I said, you want to be getting data so you can put it into the software to tell the software what to perform these manual actions on. So what usernames and what photos to like and comment. You want to create a list and I always name the list after what I've searched for just so I know. So this is the this is for users who are into business. So now I'm going to go over to my manual user searches and search for the hashtag business. So these are all the um, user profiles that came up for the hashtag business. So now we're going to save it to a list. Select the list. Click save to list. And now this will save the users into your list. So now we can tell the software to follow these users. The same applies for photos as well. So like before we needed to make a list. Name it after the search query you're looking for. Go down to photo search. I use hashtag, you can use whatever one you want. You can modify your search. You don't need to modify your search really, but if you want to, what I would do is I'd go for photos that only have less than seven likes because usually people will see that people are liking it and they'll pay more attention to your notification. Same goes for comments. So let's click search and get all of the photo data so that we can put it into follow adder so it can like and comment on these photos. Here are all the search results. Select the list. Save to list. Now you'll see that this list will appear Once you have created your lists and done all your user searches and photo searches manually, you can then do it automatically. So we need to just start off our list by getting a few bits of data. Now we're going to do it automatically. Again, you can choose how you want to target. Always name it after what you're searching for. And always remember to untick automatically remove search because we want it to keep searching for us. Remember to do this after you've done the manual users and photo searches because you need to get the list started for it to be able to refresh itself. Don't worry too much about search settings. Here's just a few things you can do to optimise it. So ignore user profiles without a picture. Ignore users with um, private profiles. Stuff like Simply that. select the list you made. So mine was follow business and click add. Hit make sure automation is on and that will refresh the list for you. The same applies for photos. So the same thing. Name it after what your search is for. Choose what you want to search by. Select our list that we want it to go to. Untick automatically remove and add. And this will keep automatically refreshing the list for us 
I've left this software to go for weeks on end and it has performed flawlessly for me. So now you know how to collect the data to put into the follow adder software so it can perform these actions on that data, you can move over to step 2. So now we've got the user data in the lists, we can go over to our settings here, so follow. Select the list you want to follow, so follow business, the data that we downloaded and put into this list. Click add list. So now we can choose how many follows we want to do per day and the delay between the follows. So new accounts, I recommend no more than 100 actions on each one a day. So if you're new, 100 and 1 to 2 minutes is fine. Maybe after 3 or 4 days you can start to move this to 150. Same with like, but you're going to choose the photos. So go to your photo list that we downloaded, add the list in there. Again, select how many actions you want per day your software to do. And the delay between the likes, like I said, 100 for new accounts and then rising as your account slowly picks up its engagement. So, comment. Things are a little bit different with comment because you need to write out the comments. I don't ever download the comments. Always write out your comments. Because a lot of the time you'll find automated comments which are stuff like super great. You know, we don't want things like that. We want things that are going to entice people to come over to our Instagram profile, like check out my bio link for a treat, stuff like that. So welcome to the second part. I'm going to show you how to set up the software so that it will perform these actions flawlessly for you. So the first thing you have to do is select the list of the data that we just got in the last few steps. Add that list in and then you can customize your settings. Now you can customize your settings on how many follows and the delay between each follow. So like I said, no more than 100 for new accounts because this will flag up Instagram straight away. Delay between is also another important thing. One to two minutes is always fine. If you want to be a bit more careful then maybe two to four minutes. After about a week, you can probably move this up to 200 actions. Follow back is also an option. I don't normally use this feature, but it's basically a way of getting people to visit your profile by liking or following them back, pretty much. You can do the same for like back down here. So the same applies for like. Select the list that you want. Add it in there. Select how many actions you want to do per day, so we've got 100 and then 60 to 100 seconds on the delay. The thank you DM feature is probably one of the most powerful features on this software. You can send them a photo along with a nice welcome message and get them to click the link on your Instagram page. This is an easy way to get clicks all day just by sending out welcome messages that people actually appreciate. The way you set up this feature is by going over to my photos and adding a photo into a list. Create your list, so business thank you. Create the list and then just add photos from your desktop with a message in here. Hey, thanks for following this launch is happening. Check it out by clicking my bio link now. Get your photo up, hit save and then you'll be able to go back over to your photos to share, sorry, photos to thank you DM. Add the list in there. Choose how many DMs you want to do and hand a delay between again. You can also choose the time frame that you want to thank these users. Another feature of follow adder is down here under other DM. So basically what this is doing is just sending direct messages to a list of people that you upload. So you want to choose the list of people you want to DM. You can do this by getting your user search data. You also need to choose the photos that you want to share. So add both those lists in and then click automation on and you can choose how many DMs per day and the delay. Over here is some useful data like how many followers, how many you're following, 
down the bottom here you can see the history the follows I hope this has helped solve a lot of questions as you can see it's really easy to set up it's not that difficult whatsoever just make sure that you're remembering to name the lists after after what you're targeting also remember that you need to gather data to put into follow adder to get it to perform these actions for you click the subscribe button below to stay up to date on my latest free traffic videos